I'm going to show you how to install a Blu-ray player on Mac OS X. So the name of it is Blue Play, and I've got an article about it on my website, which is coolaj6.com. So if you search Blue Play and coolaj6.com, you should come up with uh, my blog article, which is blog.coolaj6.com. Uh, play Blu-rays in Linux and OS X with Blue Play. So I'll click on that. So here I've got the instructions. The first thing that you need to do is install Make MKV, which also comes with a package DASPI, and then VLC is a separate installation. Now this is just for Mac. For Linux, it's actually a little bit simpler because you can just run this script here in the terminal. I'll show you how to do that later. So I'm just gonna right click on this and our two finger click is the right click, open a new tab, same thing here, open a new tab. So here's the Make MKV website and then I can just click uh, on this download right there. That starts the download. Likewise on the VLC site which is videoland.org it's selected the Mac OS X download already so I just click on this and now we'll fast forward to when this download is complete now the download is complete I'm gonna close out of these windows and then just click on my desktop so I get the finder menu back and the finder menu under go and downloads I now have my make MKV and VLC so I'll double click to open this and agree to the terms. Now, with this installation, in order to proceed, and I, I can't show you because if I try to open it, I've already opened it before and it remembers that it won't, it won't give me the message, but it would give me a message about this not being verified with an Apple developer key. Don't need to worry about that. I'm just gonna hold down the control key and then click on it and select to open it that way. And then it's just a simple continue, continue, continue uh, type deal. And I'll have to put in my password. Um, this will take maybe two or three minutes. Okay, now that that's complete, I can open up Make MKV. Again, I need to hold down Control and then click Open. I just need to open it once. Uh, we're not going to do anything in it. So I'm just going to go ahead and quit it. Yep, I'm okay with that. Now that I've opened it, I can drag it over to Applications. And then I've already got it in there, so I'm not going to replace it. Um, but for you, it should just copy right on over. Now I'm going to exit out of this and then open up VLC. So here, same deal, I need to hold down the control key, click, and then select open. And then it would um, normally ask for a prompt saying, are you sure you wanna open this? Because it's freshly downloaded. I just quit out of it, because all I needed to do was to open it, and then drag it over to applications. Uh, again, I'm not going to replace it, but for you, it'll just copy on over. So I'll exit out of there and then eject those disks for VLC and make MKV or the, the disk images. And from here, I'll exit out of the file browser and go back to the instructions. Now everything, almost everything is installed for this to be working on my Mac. Um, I'm gonna open up terminal, which can be done by hitting, well, this little magnifying glass here in the corner. Uh, there's spotlight, you can just type in terminal. And yours might look a little bit different than mine, but that's okay. Um, I've got mine set up a little differently, but you just get this little uh, highlight square there or some indication that um, that's where stuff goes when you type. So I just copied this here and if you are in Linux, then you didn't need to do the previous steps. You just need to copy these two lines like that. But um, in Mac, you don't need to do that step. You just need to do this one. Um, so 
copying that and pasting it in and hitting enter it's going to ask me for my password typing in my password it doesn't show any of the letters I'm typing but it's working so I hit enter the password was correct otherwise it would have asked for it again and then that little blip there you can ignore but it's successfully installed so um, if I just type blue play then it starts and tries to read from my drive now I'm using a MacBook Pro which already has a DVD drive in it um, on the this script is actually made for the MacBook Air where there's not a DVD drive in it and I think the new MacBook Pro doesn't have one either so I have my blu-ray drive connected via USB so I you can you can see here it says there was an error I'm gonna close out of this and if you see that same error then you're gonna to need to do the same thing that I'm doing um, but I'm gonna go open up another terminal and now I'm going to do sudo vim user local bin and again you don't need to do this unless you're having a problem but it's user local bin blue play let me make this a bit bigger there we go so you can see that um, so that's why I typed in I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to use the arrow keys to go down well yours and the, yours might look a little bit different than mine that's okay you might not have the numbers on the left the colors might be different that's fine um, but you're gonna go down about 43 lines with the arrow keys and then right on top of uh, the zero hit the letter uh, well right after the zero hit the letter I which puts you in insert mode then hit delete and then hit the number one now hit escape to exit insert mode and then type colon WQ which is for write the file or save it and then quit okay so now same thing I was doing before type in blue play hit enter but this time instead of getting the error on trying to open the DVD drive it's finding my blu-ray drive and it's going to start reading it now one thing that you should know about this process is although you're gonna see a lot of stuff displayed on the screen you don't need to worry about it it's most likely everything working just as it should what this program needs to do is read through all the different chapters on the blu-ray and then figure out which one is the actual movie uh, because a blu-ray is a little bit more complicated than a DVD and this decryption process is a little bit more complicated than what it is for a DVD it has to look at you know the commercials and the special features and all that and kinda it's just iterating through them until it finds the main movie and once it finds the main movie then VLC will open up so it was actually it was using make MKV to find that but then once it finds it it passes it along the VLC so you can view it and so now my movies open and I can watch back to the future thank goodness uh, last note while that's going this terminal window needs to stay open and occasionally I've seen problems where uh, a little ways into the movie maybe maybe even an hour into the movie it gets stuck for a moment like maybe even a minute and usually you just let it sit and it'll make some clunky sounds with the, the DVD drive or the blu-ray drive like it's you know it's trying to read it and then and then it'll you know if there's like a scratch part or something it'll skip it um, and if it's been more than a minute and it can't read through the scratch on the disk or whatever it's having a problem with um, you might be able to go in to the terminal and hit control hold control and then hit C a single time and that might uh, help it to just cancel trying to read the disk too much and go on to the next thing so those are the tips I've got for you hopefully um, that gets you up and going and you're able to play DVDs I mean uh, blu-rays on your Mac
If this was useful for you, please go ahead and give that little thumbs up button a nice click. Also, you'll see the notes are in the comments section down below. You can either at the end of the article or right up at the top. Give it a like, tweet, plus one, whatever. Thanks.